game. <clears throat> Here, we, Here go. we go then. A new season. Fresh hopes and expectation for Owls fans. It kicks off here at the DW Stadium for this clash with promoted Wigan. John Pearson alongside me, Jack Woodward for every kick. Here comes an early cross from the, well, home side. Anthony Robinson free there, whipping one in. But Dawson's able to make the claim. Yeah, he, he didn't really get the connection he wanted. He was a little back heel, a nice little effort, but uh, never troubled uh, Cameron in the goal. Well, it's Wigan who are wearing the... A blue and white. The Owls in the dark strip. Immediately it's into Barry Bannon looking to conduct the orchestra, pull the strings with his quick feet and reading of the game. And oh, great he skill. plays reach. That's delightful. Exquisite. The skill Shots. from him and he's onside. Here is the big man. Knew he who, but it's just played back for keeper Walton. But that was mesmerising on the left-hand side by Reach. Reach. Different class from Reach and it's a great ball, but Robinson read it and he could use his pace and uh, he got there before Atty. It will. And now... It's Forestieri, super play. Liam Palmer's away down the right. Plays it short for Forestieri, who started the move. In comes the challenge by Kid oh Bray. God. Corner kick for Sheffield Wednesday. He came to life there, Fernando. That's his first touch, and uh, just showed the quality that he's got. Go back for the one two. Pelopassi is the short option. Barry Bannon stands to deliver, bends it in, but it's headed away. Comfortably enough. Decent ball by Baron. And now out of reach. Reach. Searching ball. Looks a good one as well. Knew he was hovering. But Robinson gets it behind. Superb cross from Adam Reach. Right to the far post. Good defending by... Uh, I think it was... Like you said, it's Robinson who's just tapped that ball away for the corner. Bags of experience with the likes of Manchester United... Everton and Sunderland, and he's slotted it forward over when Jacobs. In comes the cross, he whipped that over with pace. Waiting in the middle was Grigg, who couldn't get there. Now Robinson, down the left, he's curled in a menacing-looking centre. The header down, they need to clear here. In comes a heroic block there by Barry Bannon, putting his body on the line for the Owls, which is what you want to see to deny the, the shot on goal there. Here it comes in again from pa a really good delivery, swinging over. Good pressure this from the home side. And they've picked out Powell. Powell with the cutback, nodded away. It's all Wigan at the moment. Robinson bends one dangerously. Forestieri back on defensive duty. Does really well to thwart James. Well, wow, breathless stuff, John. Yeah, yeah, there's about three or four crosses gone in there from Wigan. Forestieri in the centre circle, pivoting, controlling, doing well. Was fouled, it was just a bit too tricky for them, that. Yeah, I think he wanted Liam Palmer to make a run in behind the fullback. Bannon's got it moving <laughs> swiftly. Reach, loves getting forward down that left-hand side, but he's... Uh, being followed by Reese James. Well. That's a good battle. Early ball in. And now it's Nuiu. Will he shoot? He'll in fact leave it for Liam Palmer, who wasn't able to drive in towards goal. And now it's Wigan. Well, he said they'd come out Wednesday, did Paul Cook, and that's exactly what they're doing with Anthony Robinson, a pacey fullback if ever there was one. Gets the cross in, headed away, only as far as Jacobs with the shot deflected into the corner. Dawson couldn't get there and it's Wigan Athletic who take the lead in the 11th minute of this opening day fixture a big deviation on the ball, Jacobs belting it in unlucky for the keeper, nothing he could do and the Latics break the deadlock Wigan won, Sheffield Wednesday now. Well, that, that's all come from a Wednesday attack and Robinson did absolutely superbly down that left hand side well, we were full of optimism at kick-off, weren't we? But uh, yeah. it can change, though, so quickly. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. This is uh, 20 that, minutes in, and that's all. That's clever from Forestieri. And Reach pings it in towards Ati Nuiu. Can he get the shot away? Yes, yes he can! Oh. Surely a bust yes, it in! Yes! yes! Second bite of the cherry. The talismanic striker forces home from close range. And four and a half thousand.
thousand Sheffield Wednesday supporters go absolutely crazy. He had the persistence, he had the determination, and that's New Year all over. Wigan won, Sheffield Wednesday won. Well, superb work on that left hand side, Forest Yeri and Reach, and Reach has pinged that ball, he's just gone on. It would have been easy for him to go and edit. He's brought it down his chest, he beat a player. I actually thought he'd scored with the first with his first shot, obviously keeper or whatever defender saved it. I don't think this is going to finish 1 1, is it? Uh, no, I, I, I would be with you on that one. The, the um, way it's so. explosive stuff. This is what is so great about the championship as yeah. well. Massey. He's got an early ball in here. Oh, and it's nearly bundled in. And it's another one for Wigan. And Jacobs has got his second. The ball came in from the right-hand side. They weren't able to clear. This time, no need for a deflection. That's the worst possible thing that could have happened. Wednesday forced their way back into the game to New Year's equaliser. But Jacobs at the double. He's got his second of the afternoon. Wigan 2, Wednesday 1. That is a very, very poor goal to concede. Powell for James and Gibson in the afternoon sunshine just over halfway good ball Jacobs on a hat trick gets to the byline good challenge though Van Aken stuck to his guns there but it is a corner kick for Wigan the Wednesday fans looking to blow the ball away from the goal here it comes it's a good one and the header from Dunkley wasn't a million miles away forward from the back the ball was floated over as Padil gives it away, and now Jacobs with the clip, he's onside this time is Grigg, he tried to get the better of um, Van Aken, but he wasn't able to do so, Grigg just springing to life there, uh, he's a real goal getter for Wigan Athletic, we'll hope to have a good season in the Championship, now it's with uh, Jacobs looking for another one, he struck the bar, on the follow-up shot, he sliced by Massey, so close to a hat-trick there was Jacobs, some hit, he wasn't getting to that one, Cameron Dawson, and they all applaud the Wigan fans, the quality of that strike, and that might be a turning point in the game, you never know, if that had gone in, it would have been an uphill struggle, but the woodwork comes to Wednesday's rescue, yeah, John. I mean, that's a superb strike. Off we go, they have it all to do, it was frenetic, it was breathless, relentless, end-to-end -end at times the first period. Well, most managers wait until 60 minutes, don't yeah. they? that's the usual time, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if nothing's changed, if it doesn't look as though it's going to change, and you know, I think you, you, you might have to do it. Forestieri trying some link up there with Nui who right of centre didn't come off though Wigan attacking over halfway with three Massey again, Massey now up against Pudil he fancies it here does Massey drives a shot in and it's saved well by Cameron Dawson a save he'd expect to make he hammered it with power but to his left there Dawson comes up trunks with a stop here's uh, Dunkley and now Barry Bannon in space tries to clip his onside ball. here as Fernando Forestieri can he have a run in on the penalty area here opposed by Kipre and Forestieri for Barry Bannon Bannon quick feet keeps the ball well for Sheffield Wednesday Superb. Bannon gets it in a beautiful ball in from Bannon the flag was raised though wouldn't have counted but Bannon with some sharp footwork in a tight spot still got the cross away wide left uh, he clipped it in for Nuiu, but the, the linesman flag plays it to Lees, and now Wednesday through Palmer. Good, good ball. Goal. Hutchinson's made a really good surge there, and Palmer gets it back, chips over the cross just, towards Nuiu. Just too high. Yeah, and James fires it over. Nuiu tries to get the challenge, and it's out of play. What, what would you change tactically from well, Wednesday's point of view? I just think we're... we're oh. oh, Bannon's giving it away now. And here come Wigan with Morsi. Morsi with the pass. He's in here. Jacobs looking for his third. Can he get his hat-trick here? Jacobs saved well. And it's bundled in. And they have got another goal. And that might just be game, set and match for Wigan Athletic. As Jacobs strode forward... And it was just followed in. And Wigan Athletic have a third goal.
to turn the tide. Just got to get a grip of the ball, though. Just something to spark them into life, Job. Well, we need to get... Well, there's Maybe Lucas Wow can do it. It's a good challenge from Palmer. Getting forward well and winning the free kick. So that's better already. Free kick for Wednesday. Barry Bannon over it. Pella Pessi's there as well. Barry Bannon ready to deliver this set piece. No, it's Pella Pessi who swings it over, headed towards Pudil, who controls byline. Looks a good cross from Pudil. Breaks now, and the shot driven in, saved. Surely it'll be forced home. No, it was uh, a good stop from the keeper oh, there. Referee. As uh, Hutchinson hammered towards goal. Uh, Walton, who hasn't had much to do, saved his team there, but that was much better from yeah, the Owls. A bit of pressure at long last. Palmer in field towards Pelopesi and Barry Bannon. A little pivot. Slides Born a good pass reach. for Reach now. Can he ever go at the defence? Reach decides on the early ball. Chest down from Joao. Joao now. Fernando for it. Yes! Get in there! Wednesday oh. back in it. That was a sumptuous move. Beautifully worked. And Forestieri, the fox in the box, made no mistake. Prodding it past Walton. It's going to be a really interesting final quarter of this contest, you know. Knew you got his goal earlier. Now Forestieri hits the target. Wigan 3, Wednesday 2. It's tantalisingly poised, is this game. Morsi, Kipre, first time. Reached the Scottish League and Cup final with Motherwell, did Kipre. This time there. And here he is again, winning the header for Morsi. Need to get the ball back, Sheffield Wednesday. They can't do so. And it's Jacobs again. Gets the ball in against the bar from Vaughan. Well, that would have been curtains for Wednesday. They've ridden their luck. Jacobs hit the woodwork in the first half, and now Vaughan, the sub, looked to all intents and purposes that that was the fourth goal. Here's Palmer. Joao has made a big difference, actually, coming on. This time he's found Nuiu as Palmer. Nuiu, low ball, ball, it's a beauty. Here's Lucas Joao now with a back heel for Forestieri. Guides the pass. Palmer now. Palmer, but no, it's over the bar into the Wednesday fans. He just didn't keep his composure. More excellent build up play, knitting together a fine move, but there was no cherry on top of the cake from Palmer. Time starting to run out for Sheffield Wednesday here. It's a good throw. Up goes Padil. Bannon mops up well. Padil gives it back to Barry Bannon. Lots of Great options ball. in the box. Good ball in, but headed away. Joao needs to win this one. He does. Lucas Joao feeds Bannon. What's he got up his sleeve here? Barry Bannon. Speculative ball forward. The header down. Ooh. Forestieri onside here. Fernando Forestieri. Padil on the overlap. Forestieri gets the cross in. Headed away though. And the free foul kicks being given. on the uh, free kicks being given. He's calling Nui. Oh going to send dear, Atty Nui now. It's the last thing you need. As Kipre went down, and the referee yeah, is what feeling job, into Kipre. his book. Come on, that shouldn't be a, a red card, surely. Well, he's riding into his, but he's sort of milking it here, the referee, which you don't like to see. But Atty Nui has already been booked. Second yellow, and that's a red card for the striker who scored earlier on. But they have to get it into the box here. Uh, Reach for Fletcher. Fletcher, good touch. Now Forestieri, nice control. Barry Bannon gets in. Lovely looking ball. Chance here. Can he force it in, Palmer? No. Well, he tried to control it. Well, maybe he would have been best served. Attempting to go for goal. First time, diving header, first time. And it was just at that high, it was his waist high. Couldn't spark anything there. And Wigan have it back through power. Barry Bannon chasing down. He might get there. No, Dunkley. Good work, but they've given it away. Here's Forestieri now. Final chance for Wednesday to get a point for the DW. Little chip for Joao. Joao brings it down. Could this be the moment? Lucas Joao sets himself. Surely, reach. And now it's Fletcher. No, the keeper saves. And the flag was up anyway. The flag was up anyway. It wouldn't have counted as Wednesday works it neatly through the middle. They've had to work hard for it. 
but Wednesday just haven't been able to find that third goal. Throw in for Wigan. There goes the final whistle, and Wigan Athletic have beaten Sheffield Wednesday by three goals to two. Jacobs with two, and Powell with the Wigan goals. Nuiu, who was later sent off, and Forrest Jerry for Wednesday, who might have grabbed a third, but they couldn't get an equaliser. And they go down on the opening day by three goals to two. The full-time thoughts of John Pearson. Well, that's definitely not the result we were looking for. We needed to come here and get at least a draw. Wigan were always going to be a, a dangerous animal. They've just come up from the uh, league below, and they were always going to commit and give everything they possibly could on this day. 